A new fighter jet has appeared on the world stage, Russia's Su-75 Checkmate. This aircraft isn't just another addition to the Russian arsenal, it's a statement, a bold move designed to shake up the global balance of air power. Debuting at the MAX Air Show in 2021, the Checkmate immediately sparked global debate. Aviation enthusiasts, military analysts, and governments worldwide turned their attention to this striking new jet, eager to see what Russia had brought to the table. Russia's United Aircraft Corporation, under Sukhoi, presented it as more than just hardware. It's a strategic move to challenge Western air dominance. The unveiling was carefully orchestrated to send a message. Russia is ready to compete on the cutting edge of aviation technology. The name Checkmate signals Russia's intent, a bold, decisive play in the high-stakes game of military aviation. It's a name chosen to provoke, to suggest that Russia is ready to outmaneuver its rivals. Unlike the twin-engine Su-57, the Checkmate is smaller, lighter, and single-engined. This design makes it more agile and potentially less expensive to operate, opening new possibilities for a wider range of air forces. It's not built to rival the F-22 Raptor directly, but to offer advanced capabilities at a lower price for export markets. The Checkmate is positioned as an affordable alternative for nations seeking modern stealth technology. Russia aims to attract countries seeking stealth technology without the Western price tag. For many nations, the Checkmate could be the only realistic path to acquiring fifth-generation fighter capabilities. The unveiling was a high-profile event with President Putin inspecting the prototype, underscoring its national significance. The presence of top officials highlighted the project's importance to Russia's future military and industrial ambitions. Slick presentations and computer graphics showcased its potential, sending a clear message Russia remains a force in military aviation. The promotional campaign was designed to impress both potential buyers and competitors alike. The Checkmate embodies Russia's ambition to maintain influence in the global arms market. It's a symbol of technological progress and a tool for expanding Russia's reach among international partners. Building a true stealth fighter is a massive challenge and skepticism remains about Russia's ability to deliver. Experts question whether the Checkmate can live up to its promises, given the complexity of modern fighter development. Economic and technological hurdles loom large, sanctions, limited resources, and the need for advanced components all threaten to slow progress or increase costs. Can the Su-75 deliver fifth-generation performance at a fraction of the cost? That's the question on everyone's mind as Russia courts buyers and touts its new jet. Its journey from prototype to production will test Russia's innovation and resolve. The world will be watching every step, from engineering, breakthroughs, to potential setbacks. The world is watching to see if the checkmate will be a game-changer, or just a bold bluff. Its success or failure could reshape perceptions of Russian aerospace for years to come. The stakes are high, and the outcome is far from certain. In the high-stakes arena of global military aviation, the next move could change everything. The Su-75 Checkmate is all about stealth and affordability. Its sharp angles and flat surfaces are designed to deflect radar, minimizing its radar cross-section. Unlike older Russian fighters with curved lines, the Checkmate's shape is optimized for low observability. The single-engine design makes it lighter, cheaper, and easier to maintain, ideal for nations with tighter budgets. Its V-tail, or rudder vader, reduces radar reflections and combines control surfaces for efficiency. This design choice blends aerodynamic performance with stealth. Internal weapons bays are crucial. Carrying weapons inside keeps the jet hidden from enemy radar. When attacking, bay doors open briefly, then close to maintain stealth. The Checkmate's features allow it to penetrate defended airspace and survive. It's a tactical fighter meant to complement heavier jets or serve as a primary fighter for smaller air forces. Every design element serves the goal. Advanced capability at a lower cost. The Checkmate's simplicity is its strength. At the core of the Checkmate is the Izdelie 30 engine, a leap forward in Russian jet technology. This engine is the result of years of research and development, aiming to rival the best Western power plants in both performance and reliability. This single, powerful engine promises high thrust, fuel efficiency, and long service life. 
vital for a single-engine stealth fighter, its design allows the Checkmate to operate in a wide range of environments, from icy runways to scorching deserts, without sacrificing performance. Thrust vectoring nozzles give the Checkmate super maneuverability, a Russian trademark, allowing tight turns and advanced aerial maneuvers. This agility is crucial in dogfights, letting pilots outmaneuver opponents and evade incoming missiles with split-second precision. Stealth gets it close, agility gives it a fighting chance if detected. In modern air combat, surviving the first encounter often depends on a jet's ability to disappear and then outfly its rivals. The cockpit is designed for the modern pilot, all glass, panoramic touchscreens and advanced data fusion. Every display is customizable, giving pilots instant access to mission-critical information. This setup reduces pilot workload and boosts situational awareness. With fewer physical switches and more intuitive controls, pilots can focus on the mission, not the machinery. The Checkmate is expected to feature an AESA radar, a major upgrade over older systems. This technology is at the heart of modern air combat, providing a significant edge in detection and tracking. AESA radars track more targets, resist jamming and multitask, searching for threats while mapping terrain. They also enable advanced electronic warfare capabilities, making the jet harder to target. A 360-degree optical and infrared sensor suite, similar to the F-35s, lets pilots detect threats without using radar. This passive detection is vital for stealth operations, keeping the jet hidden while staying alert. These advanced avionics are essential for a fifth-generation fighter. They form the backbone of the Checkmate's combat capabilities, integrating sensors, weapons, and communications into a seamless whole. The Checkmate aims to deliver cutting-edge tech at a fraction of the cost. This affordability could make it a game-changer for Air Forces with limited budgets, but the real test will be in the air, not on paper. Only rigorous flight trials will prove if these promises hold up under real combat conditions. Russia's ability to deliver these systems will determine the jet's fate. Success will depend on both technical achievement and reliable production. The promise is bold, the execution remains to be seen. The world is watching to see if the Checkmate can truly change the game in modern aerial warfare. The Su-75's projected specs are impressive for a single-engine jet. It's expected to reach Mach 1.8 fast enough for modern combat needs. A combat radius of 1,500 kilometers means it can strike deep into enemy territory and return without refueling. This range is a major asset for countries with vast borders or regional ambitions. Payload capacity exceeds 7,000 kilograms, allowing a mix of air-to-air -air missiles, bombs, and more. The Checkmate's versatility makes it a true multi-role fighter. It's designed to operate from short or damaged runways, increasing deployment options, ruggedness and flexibility are hallmarks of Russian design. The Checkmate isn't just about performance, it's about real-world usability. It's built to fight and survive in tough conditions. That practicality could be its biggest selling point. Let's look at the Checkmate's armament. Its internal weapons bay can hold up to five air-to-air -air missiles, including long-range and short-range types. This setup gives it a first-shot, first-kill advantage while staying stealthy. The jet can also carry precision-guided bombs and anti-radiation missiles for ground attack missions. For less stealthy missions, six external hardpoints allow for even more firepower. An internal cannon provides a last-resort option in close combat. The Checkmate's flexible loadout makes it adaptable to any mission. It's a true jack-of-all-trades on the modern battlefield. The Checkmate's biggest headline isn't its tech, it's the price. Russia advertises a target price of $25 to $30 million per jet, far below the F-35's $80 million. This aggressive pricing is a direct challenge to Western dominance. Single-engine design, lower labor costs and state subsidies help keep costs down. The Checkmate targets countries priced out of the Western market but eager for modern air power. It promises much of the F-35's capability at a fraction of the cost. But beware, the advertised price likely excludes spares, training, and weapons. Real costs could rise, especially if development hits snags. The true price will only be clear once export contracts are signed. For now, the Checkmate is a tantalizing offer for budget-conscious buyers. Whether it delivers on that promise remains to be seen. 
The Checkmate is built for export, not just Russia's own Air Force. Its main customers are nations unable or unwilling to buy Western jets due to sanctions, politics, or cost. Vietnam, India, and the UAE are often mentioned as potential buyers, though partnerships remain uncertain. In Africa and South America, countries like Algeria and Argentina may see the Checkmate as a way to leap into stealth technology. For these nations, it's a chance to modernize without breaking the bank. But selling the jet won't be easy. The F-35's global support network is hard to match. Buying Russian arms carries political risks, including possible US sanctions. The Checkmate's market success will depend on overcoming these obstacles. The sales battle will be as fierce as any dogfight. Building a fifth-generation stealth fighter is a monumental challenge. The Checkmate faces major hurdles, sanctions, funding shortages, and technology gaps. Western sanctions have cut off access to key components, forcing Russia to develop costly domestic alternatives. The program relies on export sales, but without firm buyers, funding is uncertain. Delays have already pushed back the first flight, now expected in 2026 or later. Every delay erodes confidence and risks losing the technological edge. The Isdelia 30 engine, critical to performance, is still not in full production. Any engine setbacks could cripple the entire program. The Checkmate's future depends on overcoming these obstacles. Russia's aerospace industry is being put to the test. Success is far from guaranteed. The Su-75 Checkmate is Russia's bold move to disrupt the global fighter market, aiming to challenge Western dominance in next-generation combat aircraft. If successful, it could give many nations access to stealth technology for the first time, opening doors for countries that have been priced out or restricted from Western jets. The Checkmate trades some high-end features for affordability, offering good enough capability at a much lower price, and targeting air forces seeking modern jets without breaking the bank. The F-35 remains unmatched in sensor fusion and allied integration, but the Checkmate's appeal is its accessibility and the promise of advanced tech for a wider range of buyers. The project faces immense technical, financial and geopolitical challenges, with every stage closely scrutinized by both supporters and skeptics worldwide. Sanctions, funding gaps and engine delays threaten its future, casting doubt on whether Russia can deliver on its ambitious promises. Potential buyers want to see a real flying jet, not just promises and CGI but tangible proof that the Checkmate can perform as advertised. The Checkmate is more than a plane, it's a test of Russia's technological and industrial strength, and a symbol of its ambitions on the world stage. If Russia delivers, it scores a major strategic win boosting its influence and reputation in the global defense market. If not, it's a blow to its defense industry's reputation and a setback for its efforts to compete with Western aerospace giants. The world is watching. Will this checkmate be a winning move or just a bluff? The stakes are high for Russia and its potential customers. The answer will shape the future of global air power. Only time will tell if the checkmate can truly change the game.